Hello and welcome to another episode of Dance Teachers Academy. I am your host, Jose on the mic, and with me as always is the lovely, amazing dancer, May. How are you doing? I am wonderful. You look fabulous in that red. We are, uh, at the moment, uh, hanging out at the Boulders. Resort and Spa. Resort and Spa. If you get a chance to get out to Scottsdale, man, you got to come in here. Mad props to these folks. I'm, I'm giving, it all, giving them all the love. They are absolutely fabulous. Uh, continuing with our Legends uh, series, we have with us a man who needs no introduction. Yes. Ron Montez, how you doing, Dance brother? Dance royalty here. Thank Dance you. royalty. I <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So glad that you're here. I have you. admired you over the years. Thank so you thank very you much. It's great to be here. Thank you. So you started off uh, dancing when? Well, let's see. I started off learning about dancing from my sister, who was a dance teacher. Oh, really? Uh, her and her husband, they were dance teachers for Arthur Murray. And uh, okay. so they kind of like exposed me to ballroom dancing uh, at the very beginning. This was after high school. Mm -hmm. I was a little undecided what I wanted to do at that point. So I used to accompany them when they did demonstrations, dance demonstrations. Oh, wow. And I would go with them and I would uh, play the music for them. I was their... their they're DJ. So you DJ. started and, as a DJ. Right. <laughs> nice. And so I would put on the music for them. They would dance and then they'd do their little the teaching session possibly or introduction of the next dance. And then I would put on the music. So, well, in those days it was an LP with a record player. So that yeah, was a long was. time ago. But, oh, yeah. But, uh, Nobody knows about those 33s anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, I used to, uh, that's how I started. And uh, they were very kind to me. They taught me. And... Uh, my sister asked me, would you like to go into training to be uh, a teacher eventually? And I said, sure, I'll give it a try. So I went into an Arthur Murray training class mm -hmm. at that time in, in Tucson, Arizona. Uh -huh. And it was a six-week course, all day long, five days a week, uh, with a really, really fabulous teacher. I give her so much credit. She was mm, probably the one, the one main reason at the beginning that I stuck it out. Okay. Because she was so, so wonderful. Wow. Really? Her name was Nancy Elliott. She was a part-time school teacher as well, but she taught dancing. Lovely dancer. Uh, she had long, long gray hair that she always wore in a low bun. Uh, <laughs> no one ever knew she had long hair, but she said it went down to her waist. Um, Sweet. And she was very, very elegant. Um, she used to wear these high heels without a back um, strap. So they were called springolators at the time. And so there was a toe, open toe, your foot sl slid in, and there was qu quite a high heel. But there was no support to hold the heel in the high heel, yeah. in the shoe. So, so yeah, so basically, it's all calves. It was, yeah, it was basically, that's what she wore all the time. For dancing, not dancing, anything. And she would go down the hallway, and you could hear click, 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 because her heel is hitting the shoe. <laughs> sure. And uh, uh, she had beautiful feet and ankles, and she knew how to use them and uh, how to express herself through her feet and legs. She nice. was a very feminine lady. And so I think uh, I had a really good start with Nancy. That's exciting. And I like to hear that because I started in Arthur Murray training class. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that is just so fun that, you know, so many people have started. So many people that. actually start yes. there with Arthur Murray. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Great organization. Still is. Uh, I'm independent now, of course. But uh, I got a great start with Arthur mm -hmm, Murray. Mm-hmm. Very good. And so then, I'm going to fast forward to mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you uh, and Liz Curtis. Mm -hmm. That's really fast forwarding. Okay. Okay. You, we got something <laughs> yeah. in between you want to talk about? No, no but that's a big gap. Do you here. remember your first lesson that you taught? My first lesson, well, I was a brand new teacher. I was thrown to the wolves, so to speak, right out there teaching. And I uh, didn't, well, I, you know, I was trained to a certain degree, but I still was a novice. Sure. So I didn't have much income at first. There was mm -hmm. not many lessons. I remember those days. So, <laughs> so but... Ramen noodles? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I used to spend my whole paycheck on an LP. So, wow. Anyway, so um, what happened, strangely enough, was two or three staff members, I'm not sure exactly how many, but two or three male staff members quit or got fired. I don't recall what happened, but they left the studio. Mm -hmm. Therefore, there was a call or a need for teachers. Mm -hmm. Well, 
it's not easy to find teachers. So mm-hmm. I was stuck in the position of mm-hmm. moving up to teach ladies much more advanced than myself. Yes. Yes. And uh, they helped me along. They were real kind to me. Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> kind of like said, come on, I'll dance with you. Yeah. And, uh, and then I had a dance director who also assisted in coaching. So, so that's how I really got my foot in the door and wow. became very busy. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. By immersion. Yes. Yeah. I remember uh, situations happened like that for me, too, where mm. it was uh, somebody, uh, I started with Arthur Murray, but then it uh, went with, uh, had an opportunity to be at Fred Astaire oh, yeah. in New Orleans, mm-hmm. and uh, had some great mentors, female mentors there, mm. and then consequently got promoted, mm-hmm. and, and they had all the gold level students, mm-hmm. As, and I, I remember telling the uh, manager, why well, I don't know the gold level yet, and they're like, well, you better learn, because yeah. you have a three o'clock lesson that's today. Right. I'm like, okay, <laughs> yeah, so that's yes. how I learned the gold level. <laughs> uh, one step ahead. Yeah, that's there right. We go. That's right. But it's great. I mean, yeah. I remember that, and, and I'm sure it's the same for you, that they put us in every opportunity. You had to run a party. You had yeah. to run, be able to teach a guest lesson, yes. Yes. new people, bronze level, advanced. And sometimes I hear today some um, newer instructors, and they'll say, Oh, well, I don't do that. I haven't done that. And we never had that opportunity mm-hmm. to say, oh, well, we don't. Well, you bet. It was like, well, you better mm-hmm. go and learn. Yeah. Right. <laughs> better figure it out. Yeah. Is you're, that the you're same on, thing? You're sure. on 45. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were required to do a lot of things. Yes. Yeah. That's so for sure. you had all those ladies' students all of a sudden and you mm-hmm. competed. Uh, yes. And uh, so I immersed myself in teaching and choreography and some some training also went along with it mm-hmm. because we had dance directors who helped us. Mm-hmm. Uh, so did that for a, quite a while. Um, I think what happened next was I found out about competitive dancing. Uh-huh. So a couple from Australia, their names were Barry and Shell Rice, and they were the Australian champions at the time. Uh-huh. They were returning from the world's championships where they placed like fourth, and they were coming back through to to Australia, Mm -hmm. but they stopped making some engagements, shows, and teaching along the way. Sure. And one of their stops was at our studio. So this is our first exposure to a world-class competitive couple. We had no idea what they were. Yeah. Uh, You were blown away. uh, We were blown away, but it's an interesting concept here because my exposure to dancing had been good dancers were more individuals. Not necessarily couples. Really? In other words, a good dancer was a good dancer, singular, Mm -hmm. and would pair up with another good dancer and make a show or or dance socially or whatever they could do together, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Right. But they weren't a team like for life, Mm -hmm. like some of these competitive uh, pairs were. Yeah. So my exposure had been all based on lead and follow. Yeah. Not choreographed. And you know what's next. Uh, the music is set. The costume is set. All this planning right. did not happen. Wow. We, we yeah. would wear a costume, sure. Yeah, I remember. We might do some choreography, but a lot of the skill was as, it was as, an, was as an individual male or female dancer. So uh, nuts and bolts. Yeah. So uh, a lot of our training was in the man's role, the woman's role, how they, how they worked and inter- interacted, uh, how a leader uh, portrays his role and how the woman does mm-hmm. hers. Mm-hmm. So, oh, that's um, interesting. yeah, it was still quite a bit different. Then okay, this couple came. Yes. Okay, the Wrightsons came through. And like you said, we were absolutely blown away mm-hmm. because they had matching costumes, <laughs> their music was picked out ahead of time and t- totally choreographed. They did tricks, which we did very, we didn't really do tricks. We just did dance. No, you got no time for no. that. I mean, tricks were like, they weren't so much a part of dancing at that point. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So they did like, uh, you know, what we call horse and car, dead man's drop, uh, real deep over sways, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And we were like, this is, what is this? Where are they from? <laughs> what are you? They're where, aliens. Where are you from? I know you're aliens from Australia, but I mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were from like outer space or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, right. They were. So I was fascinated. Uh, and I, I talked with Barry and Cheryl about getting into competitive dancing. They said, you have to find a partner, you have to seek out training, and then compete in that order. So that's what I started to do. So how long did that take from the pro- from the time you said, hey, listen, I want to do this until you get up to your first, right, uh, right. You know, your first gig? 
Well, I, I did dance uh, he, uh, here in Arizona. Okay. Uh, then I, I thought, well, I felt like I was not progressing as fast as I should. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was the dance director at that point, so I was giving information, but I wasn't learning anything myself. Uh, oh, I get that. So sure. I uh, thought, well, uh, I'm going to move to Utah and attend Brigham Young University and uh, train under a man by the name of Roy Maver, who is another famous Australian. Yes, yes. Okay, Roy and June were head of the dance program there. Wow. So I was going to go to school, and I was going to train, look for a partner, etc. Yeah, mm-hmm. get some proper training. Uh, I had the GI Bill because I was in the Navy prior. Uh, I had a break. In, oh, nice. Uh, and I, was, Thank I, you. I was actually drafted in the uh, Vietnam War era, and then I had 14 days to select another branch of service, which I selected the Navy, so eventually... I had to do that first. But anyway, back to dancing. <laughs> uh, and back to the task at yeah. hand. Thank you for your service, too. <laughs> Thank you for your service, by the way. You're welcome. And so and at BYU was a great experience for me. Uh, I did find a partner. I competed with her. Uh, and then I found another partner after that as well. So that's, that's how it all kicked off. Really? Moved back to Arizona for a while just to work uh, because Roy was departing Utah. So mm-hmm. I didn't see a reason to stay there. Mm-hmm. Then skipped on to California, where the serious stuff really started. Yeah. Uh, the weather's better. The weather's <laughs> better. There were a lot of teachers, more competitions. Sure. All that kind all of that stuff. All that stuff. Yeah. Nice. So that was the progression. Yes, and there you met Liz Curtis. Yes, Liz was a student at the University of Southern California, USC. Mm-hmm. And she was a quite a good dancer in the performing arts, Mm -hmm. Uh, modern dance, tap, jazz, all that stuff. Uh, She was part of a a formation team that we had there Mm -hmm. at USC, Mm -hmm. Uh, and she also had a partner uh, that competed as an amateur couple. Well, my partnership finished, and so I asked Liz to be my partner, and that's how our our career started. Yeah, and a great career, seven-time United States. Yes. Yeah, per- apparently uh, that worked out champions. very well for her. Yes, yes. She was, she was a great dancer, mm-hmm. and we worked hard, and we had good success. Yeah. Yes, you so. did, to say the least. So um, did you have any challenges as, in, in the, as the two of you started your partnership or along the way? Yeah, that whole Navy thing, but... Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah I had a, well, I think... I look at it as being more advantaged than, than confronted with, with things. Uh, I, Liz was a great asset. Mm-hmm. I mean, in those days, a lot of the uh, dancers did not come from a performing arts background. They learned to social dance, then they moved up, and they continued on their career. But Liz had this background in dance that made her, oh. like, amazing. Mm-hmm. And so I was very, uh, you know fortunate to have that in Liz. Yeah, I am. Uh, I noticed that uh, a lot of the, uh, we've had a chance to sit there and, and uh, speak with lots of dancers, mm-hmm. uh, and I hear a lot of them, the ones that ultimately end up being like really bang, I mean, you like, wow, did you just see what they did, uh, have the formal training, uh, that we did mm-hmm. ballet, yes, and, yes. Like doing, mm-hmm. and so they, it basically, that this is all they know. Right. Yeah, and so... Um, so that, they make yeah. it. They make it look easy mm. until you get out there and try to, you know, shake your leg like they. I'm like, mm. how do they do that? Yeah, <laughs> their bodies are well trained. Yes, uh, twitchy. They're, they're fast. usually in, yeah. So, so that's good. Yes. Yeah. So Liz and I competed, and we just went on from there. Several. Uh, we we danced together about eight years mm-hmm. or so. Mm-hmm. Uh, won our first championship in uh, 1979, first U.S. championship. And then are, are through to 1985. Uh, and then we yes. retired after that. Right. But, and it's very yeah. exciting, again, to interview you because I do, uh, uh, we've talked about Championship Ballroom Dancing, the show that's on uh, PBS, and you actually hosted that show with several actresses. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. Right. But, um, you know, that's how I first saw you mm-hmm. and Liz, you know, mm-hmm. and so I'm a new teacher and I'm mm-hmm. watching and trying to. You know, create my own choreography, right, and right. sometimes people laughed at it because you know it didn't exactly look like well, what you were doing. Mm-hmm. But I was trying. But anyway, 
you know, you have to start somewhere. Yeah, right? yeah he, he has hardware. <laughs> he bling da, on da, the wall. Da. I know, but it's really great. And that is um, so, uh, so much a way that uh, people, that's how I started ballroom dancing, yeah. right? I saw it on TV, and so many yes. people talk about that. Yeah, yeah. And then now uh, dancing has really grown. It used to be, I felt like we, you know, as dancers, we had like kind of a limited um, areas in wow. terms of. Um, uh, uh, fields of profession. In other words, uh, dance, compete, mm -hmm. uh, become a champion, maybe a judge, maybe on a competition. But now all mm -hmm. these different areas of dance, like mm -hmm. So You Think You Can Dance, mm -hmm. which you choreograph mm -hmm. for So You Think yes. You Can Dance. Yes, right, right. Good for you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that was a challenge. Uh, you, were, you were mentioning challenges. <laughs> okay. And it was uh, because you were put together with, uh, with some amazing dancers of various dance forms yes it could be hip-hop it could be tap it yeah. could be could be ballet it could be whatever mm -hmm. uh, but they had no very little if any ballroom dance experience or partnership so, dancing right yeah yeah exactly so it was it took a lot of thought to give them material that they could actually do and look good doing yes because a lot of ballroom stuff just transferred over to a couple like this they would look bad doing it. Exactly. Because they weren't used to moving together as a couple. Yes. Uh, this interaction that a ballroom dance couple has, they weren't used to that at all. So, yeah, it took some thought, mm -hmm. for sure. And I and I probably drive him crazy because I make him sit there and watch So You Think You Can Dance With Me, and I talk about, oh, the choreographer could have done this, this, and this, and this, because I feel like it really is uh, so much... Uh, we, you have these great dancers, mm -hmm. and you've got to show their best. And like you said, mm. they haven't had a partnership background. Mm. So now you find what they do mm -hmm. that looks great, and you mm -hmm. really capitalize on yeah. it. It's, it's tricky because you do want to uh, Honor the form. portray their their assets to the highest degree. Yes. Sure. But then you don't want to have them just dance side by side. They have to interact. They have to partner one another. Mm -hmm. So that... Like I said, it took some thought. It was yes. not easy to do. Yeah, yeah. Was it wake up in the middle of the night at three in the morning and go, I got it? Yeah. yeah. This, this <laughs> is a great movement. It might work. No, it won't work with them. You know, or this, they could probably do it and look fantastic with some differences, some changes. Sure. Yeah. Plus, like you said, you uh, you go with their strengths. Yeah. And like, okay, now here's this uh, round peg that we got to put in a square yeah. hole. Yeah. Exactly. How, how, much, how much do we have to shave it in order yeah. to get in there? <laughs> Especially, see, the rhythm dances were one thing. That was fine. Swing, cha-cha, mambo, all those. They could handle those uh -huh. better. Uh -huh. But when you got to the, the traditional classical ballroom dances, uh -huh. waltz, Viennese waltz. All the smooth. All those. That requires, oh, that was hard. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. all, all they the took smooth. dance position and tried to move as one. They'd never done that before. And they'd go way up on their toes and it's like <laughs> they, there was no there was no gradual rise it was straight up there you know uh, if you ask them to spin they'd say how many times I mean they could spin forever some of them uh -huh. so it's like just two right now <laughs> yeah save them man yeah we were trying for other to accomplish other things as well uh, not just how many times you can spin mm -hmm. you know That's all kinds of things that is like hilarious. that hilarious uh, so yeah. do you, how much choreography are you doing right now? Um, it's off and on. It yeah. depends. Because uh, you really are known for your choreography, though, by the way. Well, thank you. We're picking that up really well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah yes. Um, At the Boulders Resort and Spa. At the Boulders Resort and Spa. <laughs> it's busy. You can tell by the phone ringing and yeah. carts going by. <laughs> Part of the fun. Yeah, right. <laughs> sure. It adds to the flavor. Yes, yes. <laughs> That was a stagecoach, by exactly. the way. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, uh, where were we now? We were, <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about choreography and yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, on every lesson you have the opportunity to do choreography, but you may not, uh, it may not be a lesson specifically requested for choreography's sake. Uh -huh. So, for instance, if uh, they're, they're showing you something, you might suggest a different way of doing it. That's uh -huh. choreographing in a way. Uh -huh. So okay. another time they may say, we have this we have this song, we want to choreograph, boom. It's in your lap, like that. Yeah, how and, do you feel about that? And we have 45 that? minutes. 
<laughs> and you say, okay, we'll, we'll get started on it, do the best we can. Yeah. Um, so, and then you have to, you have to judge whether you're, who you're working with. Mm-hmm. Evaluate them and see what they can handle. And very sure. quickly. How, how far can I, how much can I push them on time frame that I have? What do you think, what do I think, after watching them for a few <laughs> minutes or moments, uh, what can they actually do? Are they capable of doing a lot, a little, or hardly mm-hmm. anything? Mm-hmm. It depends on the person and the teacher as well. Yeah. Do you like it better when someone has something a little bit prepared, even if they said, hey, we want to choreograph to this song, Yeah. Uh, but here's a little something. Yes, that, it's yeah. better. Yeah. It's better because you have something to work off of. Sure, mm-hmm. you got some seed there. I'm like, okay, exactly. yeah, we can go, yeah, we can, we can, we can do something with this. I have yeah. to be honest, I've done that many yeah. times to yeah. choreographers. Yeah. I got a song, uh, yes, yeah. go. Yeah, go. Okay. I know. And they go, hmm, well, could you dance for me a little bit so I can just see you? Yeah, yeah. For a minute? I learned, I learned, yeah, over time. Like, have a little something. Yeah. Little sh- show some things you can do. Right. Yeah, right. give them a chance. I, yeah. love, I love talking to teachers because they say, well, you know, this guy shows up and he's like, he's trying to do these five or ten dancers. And it's like, well, how much are you dancers? I never dance. I'm like, uh-huh. are you kidding me? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. This is what I got to work with. Yeah, being okay. a teacher is a unique challenge. Uh, it is very fulfilling, very challenging, and very rewarding as well. Sure. Uh, I think teaching is a, is a, a skill that you develop uh, mm-hmm. over a period of time with, with wisdom and, and being involved with it. Uh, analytical uh, ability, uh, your analytical powers, if you want to put it that way. You can look at people and your brain starts working and uh, tries to direct uh, where the energy is going to go mm-hmm. in a positive way. Mm-hmm. So they will look good, so it's uh, achievable. Mm-hmm. Sure. And, uh, you know, it works with the music as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so teaching is, is a unique profession. Dancing is probably uh, one of the best ways to teach because you're involving movement. Oh, absolutely. Music. Sure. And, uh, uh, you know, different kinds of skills. Your, your physical skills, you're uh, able to relate to what, how people relate to the music, to one another, sure. to the audience. Uh, interaction with, interaction, a, with, an actual, interaction with a person, yeah. Exactly. There's so many components and elements that make it magical. And I think ballroom dancing has something about it that nothing else does. Because we have to work together to such a great degree mm-hmm. that uh, it's... It, it's really amazing. Yeah, I don't disagree with what you're yeah. saying. I mean, I totally get it. Well, that's why I'm really proud of the ballroom dancers that are on So You Think You Can Dance. And again, when you know, when you're watching, if you sit on the couch next to me, I'm like, well, of course, because she's a ballroom dancer. Mm-hmm. Of course, she could pick up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they do really well, don't yeah. they? The ballroom. Yeah, dancers. they do well. I mean, sometimes they're they don't have a specific uh, dance background in that one form. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. you know. Gotcha. Yeah. But, uh, I, see, I don't have back dance crown. Give me a, a, a stick and, uh, and uh, some skates. Yeah, I can do that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but get we'll, have, we'll have Ron choreograph our tango. Yeah, there we go. That's what we'll do. I'll have to come back here to AZ up in there. <laughs> he said and, he wants uh, to learn the tango, but he has, you uh-huh. know, he has, we haven't got there yet. Yeah. Not, not there yet. Yeah. Not there yet. But, yeah, hey, I'm not scared. So. Yeah. I know, that's right. He's done. Um, I want to know about your one-day competition in Hawaii. Because yeah, we want to yeah, go. <laughs> sure. It's called the Aloha Ball. Uh-huh. And it's, uh, we've had it uh, about five years now running. And it's, we had it on the big island of Hawaii in mm-hmm. Kona mm-hmm. for several years. And then we moved to another part of the big island, uh, another resort. And then we here this year it's going to be in February, first weekend, uh, at uh, on Oahu. At the Kahala Resort, which okay. is oh, so nice. we're just we we changed islands, sure. But uh, they're beautiful places. Hawaii is a fantastic place. It's Hawaii, man. That's you know, all you need to say. So, <laughs> you know, it's uh, it's wonderful. I I used to go there on vacations, uh, and when I was in the Navy, I was stationed at Pearl Harbor, so I had this fascination with Hawaii. Uh, I was a, I went there out of the desert, uh, a, a, a new sailor, and. They stationed me in Pearl Harbor for a while, and I was like, "Wow, this is paradise." <laughs> yes. I'm used to cactus and yeah. gravel and rocks. And, and, gravel and, and all rocks of a sudden, and there's this and green <laughs> and waves, and you know. I was making that comment. I'm like, "It's like everything here is already brown. Why do you paint your buildings brown?" 
<laughs> they're all earth tones. Like, yeah. Paint them bright blue or right. you know, bright, bright yellow yeah, or something, yeah. man. Come on. Right, right. I'm gonna get, what, I get that you're trying to blend in, but yes, stop yeah. it. There's enough That's brown right. out there. That's right. I don't get that. We decided yeah. turquoise buildings. Would turquoise be would be. It's awesome. camouflage. They don't want to be attacked <laughs> by UFOs or something. Yeah. yeah. And apparently not, man. Yeah. I'm like I said, yeah, I, I get that you're trying to blend in. It's yeah. like, where's your house, man? I can't see it. It's uh-huh. like, oh, it's behind a cactus. Yeah. Of course it is. Sure. <laughs> so, what are other. Um, projects that you're doing right now well let me just tell you how i how this hawaii thing started it's kind of okay. interesting yeah. i was on vacation I love a yes and i was kayaking uh on some waters that went out around a point and down the coast uh-huh. and i saw this beautiful white hotel perched on top of some lava uh, cliffs oh my god and i saw it and it was sitting there empty it was uh, been abandoned, it went bankrupt. Oh! So I saw that and I thought, what an amazing spot! For, surrounded on three sides by the Pacific Ocean, Ooh. with these lava cliffs and water splashing up, it's amazing. Wow! So I uh, picturesque, beautiful, beautiful. And so I came back a few years later and noticed that Sheraton had taken it over, wow. had renovated the whole thing, and it was a real hotel, working again. Okay. I put like thirty million dollars into fixing it up because the sea had worked a lot of just, uh, deterioration. Worked, it, uh-huh. worked its magic. Yeah. <laughs> so I went up to the hotel and I said, "I want to have a competition here," and they said, "Okay, we'll work on it." So that's how it started. Good, I love fun. that. I love that when I go to a hotel like here, I was like, "Oh, this is a nice dance floor. We should have a party here." <laughs> I think dancers do that all the time. That would be great for an event, or that would be great. For right, right. competition, so yes. very good. So that's how that started. Yeah. Uh, I just now acquired another event, um, Vegas Lights. It's in May in Las Vegas. Oh wow! So another one day event, uh-huh. and I have two partners in that. Um, and who are your oh, partners? awesome! Yeah, Joanne Schaefer is, uh-huh. is a. Uh, she has a school in uh, Northern California, along with her partner Alan Parrish, called Dance Arts in San Rafael, California. She's my partner. Uh, so, you know. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so Vegas Lights. And yeah. what is the Hawaii competition called? Aloha Ball. Aloha Ball. Right. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So that's. So I want to go. We will be scrolling. Yeah, we will be scrolling <laughs> that along the bottom here in a moment. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and any website that you would like to, yeah. for someone to get a hold of you. Okay, yeah, well, the website for Aloha Ball is alohaballdance.com. Okay. And so the uh, the Vegas thing. The is Vegas not, one, it's not set up yet. It's because I just took it over. So. Oh, I just took it over. Yeah. Oh, right on. But well, it's in May. It's called Vegas Lights. As soon as we get that in, I'll I'll, uh, I'll uh, disseminate that information okay. for everybody. Thank you. Ron, yes. man, it was great seeing you. I know you're busy. I want to give him oh, an wait. opportunity. Yeah. Oh. I work at the same studio as Terrell and Anio. And they have been invited oh, to see. be on the podcast and have not been on there. Do you have oh. something you want to say to them? <laughs> oh, well, you'll never find a more uh, entertaining couple <laughs> when they bounce off with one another back and forth. Oh, yeah. They, and that's they, part of the thing. We've been trying to get their schedule. They do that together. teaching and they go back and forth. It's yeah. almost like a, it's a you're more act. entertained. Yeah, yeah it's sure. a comedy. And they're great people, great yeah. dancers. Uh, Enyo is, I would say, probably my best friend. Yeah. On this planet. Yeah. Outstanding. Wow. Yeah. And they are uh, he amazing was on your team. Dance company. Right? Uh, and Daniel was on the USC team. Yeah, on the USC team. Yeah. Yeah. He was. He went he he's a USC oh, graduate. I thought you were gonna fan. say give him a hard time about something. Instead you say something nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can do that. <laughs> oh well. He, well, I'll say what he he gives me a hard time. I don't give him a hard time. <laughs> Sometimes I do because he wears he wears a uh, a yellow suit and looks like a banana, but other than that... <laughs> He's growing his hair out long now. Oh, he isn't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so banana with long hair, I yeah. see. Hairy banana. Yeah. There we go. But he he always kids me because uh, I have uh, some uh, Native American in me, right? Sure. So he says I live on a reservation. <laughs> and so he says, oh, they let you off the reservation again, did they? Or he says, have, you found, you, a, have you found a squaw yet suitable? Yeah. Or... You know, on and All on those and jokes. on. Oh, sure. Yeah. 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 Low hanging fruit. I'm like, yeah. really? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. sir, 
thank you very much for uh, allowing us to uh, interview you. It's a uh, beautiful time. Absolutely welcome. Such an honor. Absolutely. Yeah. Such an honor. Again, uh, continuing with our Legends series. Yes. Um, so it was uh, absolutely fabulous to have you here. Well, thank you. It's a good opportunity for me. Thank you very much. Oh, thank absolutely. You. Uh, the lovely Amé. Jose, thank you. Yeah. And once again, thank you. Should we do this again? Dance yes. royalty. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Very kind of you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, this has been another episode of Dance Teachers Academy. Thank you for watching. <laughs>